Well, hello everybody. Welcome back, Mix Retirement Adventures. Brian here. So, as you know, I've told you in the past about maple syrup. You need those uh, cold nights and warm days. Usually 25 in the morning or at night and uh, 45 during the day is peak. It flows up when it warms up and flows back down when it cools. Well, this year we went from having super cold temperatures to right now it's 67 degrees. Um, this will be the lowest amount of sap that I've ever had. I know in southern Minnesota they're doing well, but here uh, it just went from super uh, cold to super hot. Um, so I don't know how many gallons I'm going to get. I'm just out here trying to, I was going to get the last sap, but I'm, if I'm looking at all my bags out here, uh, there's just no sap in any of the bags. And I'll show you a few. There's, there's maybe an inch in some of them, but... That's one of my best producers right there. There's all those ones back there. There's nothing in them. So, but I have a boil going right now with all the sap I did have. The RO uh, reverse osmosis system I had worked really well. That took 50% of the water out, so I've got a boil going as we speak. This will be it though. So I'm gonna go back and uh, sh uh, show you that boil I got going. I have no idea how many gallons of sap I got. Maybe a thousand gallons. That's one of the lowest I've ever got. Usually I'm between 1,500 and 2,000. So, um, but this weekend's the beginning of our turkey season. So, one of these days I'm going to uh, pull all these taps. But we want to get out of the woods so the turkeys get more comfortable coming back here. I think I've been kicking them out. It's the first year uh, maple syrups ever coincided with the turkey opener. So, um, David's uh, going to hunt. And I'm going to do the second season, so that's it. Here, I'll show you. We got our little blind set up. I'm right by Paige's gun stand. There's a blind set up right there. There's our swamp I always talk about back there. So, yeah. I'll, uh, Go back and show you the boil, then I'll show we finishing it tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Too much we get. Um, so I've really done one big boil this year, that's it. Usually I do three. This is one big one, so that's it. I'll catch you back at the ranch, at the homestead, and uh, show you what I got going, but not much sap flowing today at all. It's just not good, so. All right, still been wonderful out here. It's been one of the hardest seasons I've ever had, also. it's. Uh, if you remember from the last video, there was two feet of snow in the woods up until just recently. We've had a bunch of 60 degree days. There's Piper. A bunch of 60 degree days to uh, melt all the snow. There's still two trails. I wouldn't take my four-wheeler down. It's just too deep and those too shady and too deep. So still two trails I won't travel on. I don't want to get this thing, get this thing stuck. So, But all right, I'm going to head back to the ranch. Uh, I wanted to check the bags and there's just nothing flowing. So this is over. End of the maple syrup season. We'll catch you back at the ranch and I'll show you the boil I got going. So as I was on my way back, I saw this tree. I thought, tree, that's Dutch elm disease right there. It's finally found my property. I've got a lot of elms and they never were affected by it, but now all my elms are dying of Dutch elm. So I'll use that for maple syrup wood for years to come. But that's my Dutch elm right there. Killing them all, finally caught up to me. All right, so here's my system. Uh, this is my evaporator pan, it holds 84 gallons. This is a tipped on its side fuel oil barrel that they've adjusted and cut the top, or one of the sides off, I guess now would be the top for me. Oh, I can't open that without gloves on. But you can see it's got a nice steady boil going to it. You just want a nice steady boil. I heat it with wood. Here, I'll show you my wood, hold on. So while I'm out in the woods, if I see kind of scrap wood or rotten wood, I grab it all and I just store it up in here. And then when the time comes, I use it to make my maple syrup. Oak, there's some elm in there, maple in there, I don't care what it is. It can just be crap wood and that's what I burn in here. Now here I got this open so you can see the fire going in there. I guess I just shove the wood in there and close the door. That's it. Perfect wind, there's my smokestack. So, 
I'll show you the one I got up in the garage. That's a finishing pan, but I've been boiling in it. This one burns off a wood, that one burns off a propane. So we'll head up there now. All right, so here's this one. I got it on a real slow boil in here. Steam coming off of it. This isn't too, that, too far away. I've been burning this for a couple days now. Just keep adding more sap. And like I said, I'm not quite sure where I'm at with all the gallons because of the RO bucket uh, system that I use to um, remove the water from it before I started filtering it. So that's that. Keep her going. We'll probably finish it tonight. Well, I know we're going to finish it tonight. All right, I just came out to check it. Added more wood. Getting the boil back going, it was kind of went down. But when I started this this morning, it had eight inches of sap in it. Right now it's got about two and a half. So, gotta keep this boiling down. This evening we'll can it all. So she's just uh, cruising right along. Nice steady boil, man that's just perfect. So I'll just keep checking it. Come out every 15, 20 minutes and see. You can tell when it starts to get ready, it'll boil really weird. I'll show you when that happens. Man, I wish you guys could smell what this one smells like. Nice caramely. She is just boiling perfect. I should actually add some of the other sap into this one. This is what we'll finish it in right here. Looks perfect. So this, uh, Evaporator pan measures uh, three feet by five feet. Three feet is 36 inches, five feet is 60 inches. If I multiply those and divide it by 231, 231 is the number of cubic inches in a gallon. It comes to about nine gallons. So every inch in here is nine gallons. So I'm gonna measure this and see uh, where we're at with this. It was uh, two inches the last time I was out and I started this at six o'clock in the morning it's now about 2.30, so I've just been boiling away. All right, this has got about an inch in it, which means about 9.38 gallons, if I remember correctly. That's assuming this thing's perfectly level. So I'm gonna let this boil for just a little bit longer, then I'll probably take it off. If I can get down to about half an inch, that'd be perfect. So, put a little more wood in there, and then uh, come back. Gotta check it more frequently now. Frequently now, so. It's getting close though. So the evaporator pan has handles right here, right there. And these two by fours go in there so I can lift it off. There's some on each side. So eventually what I'll do is lift it off of here and put it on the trailer. Then I can maneuver it better, even maneuver it up by the house if I want. So that's what that's for. That's what that's sitting there for. Man, I burnt it. I waited a little too long. It's terrible. I gotta get it off there now by myself.
see how that's all crusted in there? I added water so I can reconstitute it, but man, that's just no good. I'll have to scrape all that out. Ay, 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 burnt it. Probably waited 10 minutes too long before I came back out here. I came out in about 20 instead of 10 right away, so. But I'll get that scraped out. We'll get this up in the other burner and start making syrup. That's about a five gallon pail, so I'm gonna have almost four gallons in there. Still gotta evap it down though, so keep it going. Well, I think I saved it. Um, I did lose some. I obviously hear them go. I know I lost some, but uh, not everything. So I probably lost half a gallon in that boiling, or the wood thing when the pan fell off into it, but I, I had no choice. I had to get off by myself. I've done it before, but I was in such a hurry, I kind of screwed it up. But if you look at this here, it looks damn good, and I tasted it too. I took a little out and tasted it, make sure it wasn't, didn't have that burnt smell in it. It doesn't. It tastes like perfect maple syrup. Here, I'll show you. It's boiling really good in my finishing pan. Well, there's my finishing pan, just like before. Here's the syrup I got out of the other pan. So now it's just a matter of boiling this down, man. Getting her close, getting her close. So keep working on it. All right, so I went out and I uh, scraped that burnt part out of there. Came up really easy. I thought, oh man, this is going to be a pain in the ass, but it wasn't. It really came up easy. I put 10 gallons of water in there, kind of soaked it, and then went out and got it. So I think we're safe, man. I think I saved it. Uh, we'll see. The boil's still going. I just added some, so it's not boiling right now. But got 14 gallons in there right now. I got another gallon in the white pail I got to put in there. So that'd be 15 gallons that I got to boil down to where it's syrup. So. so I'll keep working on this till Lori gets back. And then we'll uh, start bottling. So take you through that process too. Back out in about 10 minutes. All right, so basically I have syrup. I have to wait for Lori to get home from her friend's house. It got done just a little bit early. Uh, it's not quite ready. But on the hydrometer, which measures the water content and tells me whether or not it's syrup, it's already floating which tells me I'm within a couple of percent of where I need to be. So I kind of shut it down and I'm just waiting for Lori to get back from her buds. And then I, we're going to finish it here or in the house, one of the two. So, but it's, it's right there. It's going to be almost 13, 14 gallons because this, uh, this pan holds 14.93 to the top, but I'm an inch down. So I'm assuming it's about 14 gallons. So 14 gallons of syrup. Should be some dandy pancakes. All right, so we have syrup. I got it to the hydrometer to what it wants to be. I use the fractionator or fractionator, I think it is. So it's, it's uh, syrup. So now I left that side burning, this side's not. I'm emptying it into this pail. We're doing something different than here. I'm doing something different this year. I couldn't wait for Lori anymore. She just got home, but in the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm filling this bucket and I'm gonna take you in the house to show what I do in there. All right. So now I got a system set up. I hooked the final filter onto the handles of the cabinet in the wash basin. Basin. I put the tub. Now it'll drain right there. Lori doesn't have to hold it the way she did last year. Last year she had to hold it forever. It just kind of sucked. So this way, I'm just draining into the pan. So new system this year. See how this works better than the old one. This uh, sock needs to get rinsed in warm water. I can tell you that right now. So. I'll get that done in a second here. All right, out to get more sap. All right, so this process is working pretty good. It's foaming out of there, draining there. Gets slow after about three gallons of syrup going through it. You gotta clean them. See what Lori's up to over here? Lori's got all of her bottles. She's got some syrup over here to do. She's canning those. She's the expert canner. So she's got two done so far. There's my real spooler. I'm spooling new line on all my rods, but there we go, syrup. 
I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to have. We'll figure it out, but it's got to be close to 13 gallons, I'm guessing. All right, so we actually have two filters. There's a pre-filter right here. Then we have the felt filter here. Felt filter's heavy and thick. Gets any sediment out that's in there. From the burning process, you kind of burn the sugar a little bit. So it creates sediment, which we're straining out now. This is about the fifth time it's been filtered. In the field we do it, when we're gathering the sap, when it goes into the fixed five gallon drums, it gets uh, run through a bed sheet usually, or a pillowcase or something like that, take out any smaller stuff. Then as we're putting it into the big vat, we uh, strain it into there too. So this has been strained, I think, five times. All right, I think it's time to change filters. All right, this is it, we got it done. Not done yet, but it's just running through the felt. It's uh, in the pre filter in the felt, one of the big vats, stainless steel vats. You have to use stainless steel, you can't use aluminum. Aluminum just makes the flavor different. Somebody's over here jarring away. Jars, jars, jars. Who knows how much we have? I don't know if she's got in her pot yet. We just got a couple gallons in there. More jars here. All right, been a successful season again. Hardest season I've done. Deep snow, didn't last very long. Man, oh man. A lot of times we get, uh, what do you call it? You know, days where we're getting 90 gallons three days in a row. This year we had one day like that, one day. I think we had a 75 gallon day, but it's a sap, you know. So, but hey. Great hobby being out in the woods, great exercise. Kind of the rule of thumb for steps in a day is somewhere between eight and 10,000 steps. When I'm gathering sap, I get about 16,000 steps. So, well, end of another great video. Lots of maple syrup for pancakes, Swedish pancakes, roll-ups, French toast. Thanks everybody for watching, really appreciate it. If you like what you see, please subscribe and give me the thumbs up. Thank you much.